Today I'm going to help you fix your printer error where it says uh, cycle, uh, cycle power, printer error, cycle power. And what we're going to do is take the fuser out and, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, after you get your top cover off and your side cover off, we're going to unplug these two plugs here. See this yellow one? Get it off by squeezing, squeezing, and pulling like that. Get this out of the way. Okay. And we're going to disconnect this white wire here from the second plug on the right. Okay, and now we're going to take the fuser unit out. Okay, so this is the fuser unit here. Now this is still a little hot because I just fixed it and did some testing. So what we're going to do is remove four screws. One, two, three, four. Okay, moving on. We're going to move, remove the four screws from the uh, fuser. Okay, let me see what he's doing right now. What we're going to do is try to lift it out like this. Lift up. And it should come right out now. Just be careful you don't lose this piece here. Okay, be careful not to lose this piece or this spring. Okay, now underneath, this is what we're going to be working on right here. These two thermistors, like thermostats. That's what we're going to be working on. Let's pull these wires out of here so we can work on it. Get this out of the way. Be careful with it. Okay, so next we're going to be taking the screws out. Three screws. Now before you do that, I should say that I'm going to check these for continuity. If there's no continuity, that's the problem. Hear that? That means continuity. That means continuity. If you put your testers on there and you have no continuity, then one or both of these is, is has clicked off and it needs to be reset. And how we're going to reset it is, take it out. Take the wire off. Take this wire off. And all you're going to do is smack this on the table like that. And then take it and smack it on the table again like that. And it should reset. <clears throat> I already did it, so that's why I'm not smacking it again. Plug it back in. Let's 
So after you smack it, you're going to check it again for continuity before you put it back in. Oh, I turned my meter back on. Continuity, continuity. So then I'm going to put the screws back in. Make sure these wires are nice and tight in here. Put your three screws back in. Okay, now we're ready to put it back into the machine. So anyway, before I put it back into the machine, I want to say this is what's causing that, you know, machine error, cycle power. And, you know, it tells you nothing. This is the only thing that I found that worked. I already ordered a, a sensor, but I didn't get it yet, so. But this is definitely what caused my problem, because as soon as I did that, I, I was able to print... Uh, and before that I had done the hack to reset my page counts back to zero you can find that video on another site I'll link to it for you so anyway now we're going to put it back. Now we're going to start by putting this spring back. Bring this back. Make sure it's loose like this. Put the wires through. It's a little tricky to get it back in, but it's not that bad. So we're going to get it like this. Sneak it back in this way. Okay, it's not so bad, is it? Make sure this is free like that. Wires. Screws back in. Sure the screws are tight. Not over tight. Okay, now our fuser's back in. Shut that door. Spin it around. We'll do the wires back in. First we'll get this one. That in. Make sure these wires stay flat. Okay. We'll route it the same it was in. 
so it doesn't hit the motor. Like that. And down to here. Back down here. Careful of this ribbon cable. And plug it back in. You hear a click. Goes in this one. Okay, plug our ribbon cable back in. Don't forget that. If you're not comfortable with that, you could work around it. This, this slides behind here. Okay, now we're going to put the front cover, top cover back on. Like so. Let's try to print a test page, yeah? Plug it in. Power it on. Yeah. If you had that ever, you didn't hear that before. Okay, now let's print a test page. I'll hold down the button until the light starts blinking green. Let go. Turn our test page. Voila, 315W, don't buy a new fuser, all it needs is a little tap on those uh, thermistors, thermostats, whatever the hell you want to call them, that's it, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, this helps someone, thanks.